Hey everybody, Nick with Jumping the String. Thanks for tuning in. So this is gonna be kind of a uh, full review of the Orvis Mini Sling Pack. If you haven't watched my first look video, please go back and take a look at that. So I did that about four months ago or so. Since then, I've uh, taken this out many, many times um, on my adventures here in Western Montana. So um, just a little backstory. Primarily picked this up for quick day trips to the river and multi-day trips or day trips to high alpine alpine lakes here in Montana as well as Idaho. So this thing has been fantastic for me. Um, not too many cons. I'll go over a couple of them and I'll go over all the positives as well, obviously. So this is the Orvis Mini Sling Pack. Um, I feel like this is a proper size pack for most of your fly fishing stuff. I think people way overdo it most of the time. And this is something that will get you through 99% of your fly fishing trips. So um, on the front here, I've been rocking my um, nips here and it's a good spot for them. They do well, has a little keeper, which is nice, as well as my hemos. And there's a little fly patch here, which comes in handy. Over here, I have my tippet. I usually just run a four, five, and six, and then I have my wire bite for if I'm going after pike. So I just have that looped through a tippet holder. It has two little elastic keepers here. So uh, it's worked out for me, and then I can clip anything here I need. So kind of the setup I've gone with, and it does it well, is kind of disorganized, sorry. Um, I keep all of my indicators and leaders and stuff in this front pocket. It organizes it nice and easy. Keep my indicators on this side, as well as my leaders on this side. Keep my floatant, leader straightener, and then all of my weights and stuff. And I wouldn't put too much more in here just because it will kind of push this out a little bit and it won't have that compact profile. But you have, you have a lot more room to put more stuff in here if you need. But really like this pouch, quick and easy to get to. Good quality zippers and zipper pulls on them. This front is also kind of like a waterproof um, material here. So if you're handling a fish or something and this is sitting in front of you, you can set that there and it's gonna clean off easy. Also fly patch here, which is the primarily the fly patch I've been using. Um, kind of dirty, grimy a little bit, but that's the way we like it, right? So <laughs> this fly patch has been great. Um, primarily taking this out in my pack raft or if I'm on my one man um, pontoon raft, I swing this around and I just kind of set it in my lap just like this gives me easy access to all the zippers and then that's the primarily the fly patch I'm going to use for taking out flies, putting them back on. In the main compartment here, have had several questions about how many fly boxes this will hold. Um, I only keep three in here. So I have this Lost Creek, this giant Lost Creek one, which holds like a thousand flies or something insane like that. Also have a flambeau outdoors one and then my Orvis mini I think they call it like a lightweight small lightweight foam box and that's primarily what I'm using up in the backcountry I don't need to take a ton of flies mostly dry flies I do keep a few nymphs with me and um, it just cuts down on the weight I don't have to carry all those bigger boxes so um, usually it's just one fly box and I have lots of extra space for other things just kind of a catch-all box. And then uh, I've been carrying my Spyderco Bow River knife in here, which this is a great knife, by the way. And then some other odds and ends, some chapstick, keep my glass keeper in here, as well as a buff. And then in this zipper pocket in here, right there, I just keep my fishing license and some other odds and ends. I like to keep a liquid IV for after a long day of hiking. 
but overall it has it has done done me pretty decent I, I really like this pack especially for the money i think you could pick them up for like 90 bucks or something um, 75 bucks to 90 bucks and i do really like it um on the back here if it's a really hot day you will get some sweat on your back they did a pretty good job with the ventilation but um, it's not perfect but again it's only 90 bucks so keep that in mind for any criticisms the one thing I really wish they did with this, and if you need this, you can buy the, I think it's the middle size, whatever they're calling it, like the regular or the midsize or a sling pack, is some place to store a net. So that's probably the biggest downfall with this thing is that I don't have a way to carry my net with me and with a sling pack and a separate net, things can kind of get tangled up. I wish that they had put a, a, a slot for a net handle in between this small pouch and the large pouch here. Just tuck it in like a lot of packs will do. You can slide your net in, keep it that way. Um, other than that, that's really my only criticism of the pack. Again, if you need that, you can go with the bigger pack. Um, and for, you know, they would obviously need to increase the price point if they did that. I just wish they could have incorporated it in some way. So. Uh, it's been holding up the material itself. It's a, I think it's like a 250 or a 500 nylon denier. And um, no complaints. It's held up great. Um, I've taken this probably on five or six trips in the mountains so far. And then, you know, probably another five, six or seven river trips. So I really, really enjoy this pack. I, I highly recommend it if you're looking for something smaller. You don't need a ginormous, ginormous fly pack. So, um, yeah, if you were looking for more than that, um, there's not really much to it. It's good quality, good stitching. I don't think I've had a single stitch pop loose. Um, good quality, good quality pack, it seems like. Um, the sling function is great, which is kind of odd because I really usually never like sling packs, but I really like this one for whatever reason. Um, so that's about it for the full review. If you were looking for this to buy it, um, look no more. Can't recommend this enough. It's a good pack. Oris did a great job and uh, just appreciate you guys following up on this for the full review if you have any other questions hit me up in the comments or send an email to jumpingthestring at gmail.com see you guys later